Hola, bonjour, hello. Welcome to Chantus Tarot. Hi, everyone. Welcome. This is a general love reading for the sign of Libra for the month of October 2021. You could have Libra anywhere in your chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus. You could also be cross-watching for a Libra or just intuitively guided here. Whatever the reason or season, know that you are so very welcome. If you'd like to skip ahead to the reading, there is a timestamp listed in the description box below. Just wanted to say a few quick announcements. If you have Instagram and TikTok accounts, head on over there where I upload daily oracle and tarot cards. Same handle, at Shantus Tarot. If you're interested in private readings, that information is also listed below, including a link to my Etsy shop. Before I begin, I'm just going to do a brief rundown of the spread. So we have six cards here. The central card is sort of the overall overarching energy for the month. Then the card underneath is energies um, that have yet to be revealed or perhaps uh, things or energies that are hidden. And then the one, two, three, four cards on either side of the central card generally represent the energies for each week. Remember, these are general readings. Just take what resonates, leave the rest. So let's begin. Okay, Libra. At the bottom of the deck... We have the Four of Cups. So this is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, I, I always get a feeling of being distracted in this card. You know, there's this beautiful bird singing outside the window, um, but this figure is looking down at, at these cups and is too immersed or engrossed in whatever's going on here to notice what's behind um, him or her. I'm not sure if it's a male or female, it doesn't matter. Um, so I feel like you could be distracted, um, possibly missing an opportunity. There could be someone in your midst who's trying to get your attention, but you're too focused on um, work, your family obligations, you know, other matters to notice that this person is trying to get your attention. Okay, Libra, at the center of your spread, we have the judgment card. This is a card of renewal of rebirth um you see here it appears as though the clouds are parting to reveal the sun with the lotus flower um and lotuses grow in mud i believe so i feel like there is going to be a renewal this this month um and it could be related to someone from your past Either um, you could revive a current existing relationship or someone from your past or someone who's been in your, your orbit, in your environment that you maybe perhaps have only considered a friend or a work colleague or something, you know, you, suddenly you're, you're, you start seeing them in a different light. There's an opportunity for a new chapter. Um, this is a revitalization. So I feel like for many of you watching, um, I mean, if you're unattached and not interested in someone at this time as you're watching, it could be that soon that will change. Um, and I feel like for others of you who may already be in a relationship, it's a renewal, a rebirth of a relationship that maybe was uh, struggling or you, if you had challenges in a relationship before. And the third um, energy I'm getting is for those of you who have someone in your midst that you're suddenly seeing with fresh eyes. It's like the clouds part and you suddenly see them. They've been there all along, but you're just now finally recognizing that they are partner potential, that they are someone that you could see yourself being involved with. Um, and it might surprise you. Uh, underneath that, we have the Queen of Wands. So this is fire energy, Leah's Sagittarius, Aries. Um, yeah, there's a, I, I feel like I'm getting there's a fire within you. You may have some fire in your strongly in your astrological chart, um, but this is this this encapsulates an energy of being uh, independent, confident, fierce, um, determined, um, and and charismatic. I, I feel like this is you. Maybe you're also coming into your own this month, feeling, standing in your power, really starting to feel more confident. Just overall, I feel like there's a, a brightening um, of, of energies, um, that you're, you're starting to feel more comfortable in your own skin, Libra. Next, we have the Ten of Swords. So this is a challenging energy. Uh, swords are air. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius could be yours. I feel like 
you're moving away from this. You know, you may have been, so I notice it particularly next to the, the Knight of Swords, which is riding away from this Ten of Swords. So you could be involved with a younger air sign, potentially. Um, but I feel like whatever whatever this is that was plaguing you, it could be um, past disappointment in love, it could be a breakup. Um, you're moving away from that, and, and quite quite fiercely and quickly. You know, as you, as you heal, as you become more self-assured, more self-confident, um, you're, you're releasing this, this energy, whatever this was. I feel like for many of you, it could have been a breakup. Um, it could also be, you know, deep financial troubles. But whatever this disappointment, this pain is, and I feel like for a lot of you, it's love, you're coming out of it with renewed vigor and energy. So this is really really positive, Libra, that you're moving away from this difficult energy. And tens also represent endings, right? Um, so you may be feeling this in the, now or in the beginning of October, but I really feel like in the month of October, you'll be moving away from this challenging, you know, energy, this, this heartache, this disappointment. Um, all right, next we have the moon card. So this could be Cancer, Pisces energy. So what I notice right away in this card is that she is looking towards the moon, but we don't see, we don't see the face. So again, I feel like there's someone in your midst that you haven't seen. Someone who I think has deep feelings for you, Libra, that you haven't recognized because you've been so distracted. Um, the fact that we can't see this figure's face to me just screams something that has yet to be revealed. Um, and, you know, if we were on the other side of the bridge, we would be able to see this figure's face. So I feel like you need to change your perspective. Um, perhaps look at someone that you've just considered a friend or coworker, um, and and consider them as a potential love interest. I really feel that strongly. You know, again, this is a general reading, so if that doesn't resonate with your story, check out a reading uh, for your moon rising or any of your other placements. Um, but yeah, I feel like I'm getting strongly. Someone in your midst has feelings for you that you haven't recognized before. So take a good look around the, the people, uh, the people who are in your environment, coworkers, friends, um, someone that you maybe have taken for granted that you haven't really considered as a, as a love interest or a partner. I, I, I think they feel very deeply for you and they're, the way that this person, I mean, it seems like they're gazing longingly, even though we can't see her face. I, the feeling intuitively that I get is she's um, gazing longingly at this moon. Um, and I feel like that's how this person sees you. They're just like, oh, they, they're so beautiful or handsome or charming or, you know, charismatic. And, um, and you know, mysterious too. I'm getting that with the moon in the darkness. Um, but I really think if you listen to your intuition and take inventory of the people that are in your life, you might notice someone that you hadn't before. Okay, so Libra, um, yeah, here we have the five of coins, this is earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like this is how the person who has feelings for you is feeling, that they're kind of out in the, left out in the cold. You know, they feel like, I really wish Libra would give me a chance and see me the way that I see them. Um, you know, five is temporary energy, um, so it, it indicates transformation, change, and I feel like this person is sort of waiting for you to let them in, you know, let them in where there's warmth and light. They're, they kind of feel like they're, they're left out in the cold. And it's up to you, um, Libra, whether you want to move forward with this person. I feel like the ball is in your court, but I feel like this person is just waiting for the green light, the go-ahead, for you to open the door to let them in. Perhaps you've been very guarded and, you know, distracted with other responsibilities and uh, other areas of your life, but I really feel strongly um, that there's someone in your midst who's just waiting for you to let them in. So um, I think you should consider it, you know. I, I, I feel like it's a, it's, a, it's a positive energy for you, Libra. Okay, so to round out your reading, Libra, I'm going to choose one card from the... Um, power of surrender deck so angels archangels benevolent spirit guides please continue to bless and protect me this deck in this reading please provide us with one final love message for libra 
what Libra most needs to see, feel, hear, know, and understand at this time. One final love message, please, Spirit, for Libra. A message that pulls it all together. One final love message, please, Spirit, for Libra. One final love message for Libra, please. Okay. One final love message, please, Spirit, for Libra. Ooh, wow, that just really popped out there. Surrender to your soul's path. Your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. Yeah, I, I feel like, you know, you, you've been experiencing some challenging energies here, and um, I think you, you need to release resistance. Accept that whatever has um, felt like a burden is actually an opportunity for, for self-growth. Um, that you should be more, pre I'm noticing moments, so this is a call for you to be more mindful in the present moment. I think because you've been so distracted thinking about the past and worrying about the future that you're missing out on all the beauty and the love that's available to you right now in this moment. So that's what I'm getting most from this from this card. Also, perhaps spending time in nature would be very grounding for you and help you to be more mindful of the present moment because there's love here in this present moment that you may have overlooked because um, you know your your attention has been elsewhere. So yeah, I really feel like tr doing things that, particularly spending time in nature, that bring you into the present moment fully will really help to relieve your stress and also open your eyes to the opportunities of love that are around you, that are available to you. All right, Libra, I do hope you enjoyed that reading. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, comment, commenting, and subscribing. I ask that you please continue to do so. It helps to grow this channel wherever you are in the world. I'm wishing you so much love and light. Take good care.